friends, what is up? Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm gonna to install my new Cena SLR mesh into my new Neotech 2 showy helmet. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's the helmet. <clears throat> I don't have a, hel a helmet ring. Um, I think nice fluffy towel serves the purpose. So just wanna flip the helmet over, get it ready. The only thing you need really, this comes with your helmet in the box and this is to help pluck off these uh, three pieces in the back here that we'll get into in a moment. Okay, first thing we wanna do is get these these uh, cheek pads out and they're just held in by little buttons. You stick your finger in here and just pull and these pop off like that. Then you wanna get the buckle out from there. It comes out like that. And so there's only there's three three buttons pop off and then then you just pull pull this part out there's some hooks inside you just got to tug on it a little bit there we go see there's some these little hooks here on either side to hold it in now just do this side This is all pretty straightforward. If you've done this before, you can fast forward or switch to another video. I just like seeing these things step by step. When I get buy things, I always go on YouTube and check out other people, how they did it step by step. Just so I know what I'm getting involved in. And then the back part, these pop off here. And then you can just roll roll this forward. And that's that's all the that's all you need. You need access to all that. You don't actually have to take this all the way out. And uh, actually there's one more step. Um, you gotta remove the earpieces here. So these just pluck out, and these are just uh, this is where the speakers go uh, for the SL, SRL. So you gotta take those out. There's one on each side, obviously. And then on my helmet, you want to make sure that your helmet, if you have a Neotech, you want to make sure that it's a newer Neotech. So this one here on the sticker, you can see, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll zoom in. It's um, 2022. It was February 2022. So if you have an older one, I made a video about this. My friend had an older Neotech from 2018. This Cena. This new one will not fit in that helmet, an older Neotech, because the <clears throat> the um, spot right here where the microphone goes is not the same size. It will not fit this microphone. So you make, just double check that. Okay, next, now we're going to use this little tool here and pop off these <clears throat> side pieces. This one, this one, and the back one. Those are a little bit tough to get out sometimes. So the, the little edge here, you see you put, the, this has an edge like a screwdriver, so there's a thin edge, so you just push that, push that against there, angle it down so it wedges in between. So you can see that if it's in, be, in between there, and then you just kind of pop, pop this up, and it'll, it'll come out. And same in the back. This one sometimes you can just pull out, just push that, yeah, it comes out like that. And there's a little foam piece in here. You just take that out. You don't need that, but save it in case you do not want your Cena in your helmet anymore. You're gonna need to put that in that little space there. And this is what, what it looks like before I rip this apart out of the box. This is your, your gear. Put that here, and then there's a little hidden chamber. Wow, look at that. See anything else in there? Nope. So you got your instructions uh, in different languages, I'm assuming, and all the microphone and all the other stuff. So this one will go in, this microphone is a boom microphone. It's for the um, J Cruise 2 Showy Helmet and this Neotech 2. 
It also comes with a sticky stick-on microphone for the, um, what's that one called? It's a Shoei GT Air, I think it's called. And this one sticks right in front because that, that has the chin bar that does not move. Um, so that's all the stuff. And it's got a charging cable, all that good stuff. So let's get it inside the helmet. Okay, so this is what came out of the box. Big dangly mess of wires. I think the best place to start, there's no directions with the box to show you how to put this in. So you definitely have to just kind of wing it on your own. Or watch some videos. I only saw one video online so far because this is newer that showed how to put this in um, but it's the same as the the older one so i'm sure there's some the only difference there is this has the slr2 didn't have this which is i think this is the antenna for the radio or something like that or part of the mesh antenna i'm not sure i have to look into that but i think it's best just to start with this back part and get this clipped in so there's a rubber lip here so you have to get that rubber lip over. Okay, then next, I'm gonna take these <coughs> controllers, these little two little nubby things, you're gonna match them up with these and then slide it down on an angle. There, there it goes. Well, this one didn't quite go in right. Come on now. All right, there we go. So that's a nice click. And this thing here, this just gets stuck, stuck down in between here. And then you tuck these things all, all the way nice later. Um, I believe this antenna just sits here. Hey friends, what's up? Just a little addition to this video that I didn't cover until after I shot everything else. Um, the headset comes with two antennas that I was not really too familiar with. And I ended up putting them in the wrong place. Do yourself a favor and go online and download the directions. Um, I'll put the, the link up and you know, show a picture right now of, of those antennas. And the way they go in. Uh, I, I had previously put a scene in, an older scene. Uh, and it did not have the FM antennas. And uh, so I kind of stuck them in the wrong place. Because the, the package, it doesn't really come with any directions of how to, how to assemble it or how to put it together. It just tells you what everything uh, kind of is. And so those antennas, I kind of just thought, well, they probably go this way, and that's what I did. Uh, but after downloading the directions, which, is <laughs> which should be the first thing you do, but typical, uh, typical dude, I was like, nah, I can do it. I've done it before. Uh, yeah, you download those and they'll tell you how to put them in. It makes a lot more sense. Anyways, that's my little addition to this video. Thanks again for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Later. Let's get on to this side. Same with this side. you got to match up these little nubby things. Okay, next, the most important part, my favorite part, let's get this uh, the boom mic out. So the boom mic, boom mic has to be attached separately. And this is the part here, this long part is, is the part that doesn't fit on the older Neotex. The, Neo, the older Neotex has a very short you could, uh, thing to put this in and it doesn't fit it needs to be longer <clears throat> and then this boom mic gets attached to see one side of this has an arrow one side has a little arrow that fits the other side doesn't so make sure you put that on the right way that's the only thing that you could mess up and it clicks in okay 
now we just pop these in. These have little, there's four, four little nubby things that are sticking out. You just match those up with the white, white receptacles here on the helmet and just snap them in place. And then the microphone just twisted into place. There's two little nubbies in that one too that'll hold it in place. Okay, but I'm not too happy with the way this is sitting. Okay, there, that's in. Okay, let's go over here and do this one. Okay, so the speakers are in. Yep, microphone is in. Okay, so we're essentially done. Now we just gotta tuck all the wires. See under here, there's a lip here. You can start to tuck the wires under here a little bit. On this side, so you want this part back part here nice and neat and clean. And then flip, flip this one up. Get this wire under here. Okay. Well, first let's get this center part back in place. The top part. Now this, when you put this in, this will hold these. All right, I got this side in. This was a real struggle to get this one in. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so what you gotta do is you gotta you gotta get this all lined up. Obviously, this this part here. Start with the the back part because this has got the little hinge on it. Put the, there's a little pin back here inside. You put the pin in there. Pu push back on it so it locks that in place and then feed the rest of this through until you get to this front one that just snaps snaps down in. You gotta push it in. So the trick is, you just gotta get all these wires out of the way, obviously. So the, the plastic feed it in, you know, along here. This wire can be out in front. So you're gonna feed it in between here. But the problem is when you get to this part, this wire is here. So you gotta really, use this tool to get these wires tucked down inside this little gully here. And this one push back and push down as far as you can go so that so that you can squeeze squeeze that in front of this as well. So all these wires gotta get tucked way down inside so that you can you can fit the cheek pad on. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Um, so I start with the back. If you see in here, there's a little white, that white thing right there. That's what this clips on to. Push down and push back. That's where I started with the other one. And it seemed to be kind of the best way to do it, but. Okay. And you gotta get these things to click in because otherwise they'll come loose. And that will not be good. So then in the front, there's a little post in the front too that clips in. Okay, I got it in. It's just It just takes a little while. It took me about 10 minutes. Got to make sure this back one is in first. And then just squeeze it all the way down. Make sure the wires are up. And then this one, you just have to fit. on the. There's a little post in there that goes on. And it, once you finish it, it should be, it shouldn't pop out if you tug on it a little bit. You kind of have to tug on it pretty hard to get it out. And then, then we just got to close up this part. So we got to put, get the, get the chin, chin strap. And then... 
and then you just gotta button these back up. So there's one button back here. There's one button here. And then you can hear those snap into place. Those are pretty easy. And then that one. So you got your mouth, uh, your microphone there. And there should be a little, they give you two little foam guys, little dead cat things to put over the mic. Um, and this you just got to kind of stretch it on top of there and pull it over. I'm looking forward to the microphone supposed to be better than the old one. So that'd be interesting to see if it, because I did try the old one and it was pretty good. Okay. There it is complete. And so you just move this, uh, you know, wherever you want it. Just make sure it's moved in a little bit so when you close the helmet, it doesn't hit. And that's it. Now, next stage is to uh, put it on, take it out on the road, and try it out. Download the app so the phone, my phone connects uh, to this so I can take phone calls and use the maps and all that. And then just explore the, uh, you know, all the things it can do. So I'll make another video about my impressions of how this works out in the field. Till next time, thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Later.